Hey guys! Alright guys, we're here today to do a video that's been requested by everybody. Since this video came out, everybody flocked to the channel and saying, when are you guys checking out the latest from Nanowar? Alright, so this is Nanowar of Steel, and it's a mixture of Hallelujah with Valhalla, so it's Valhalluja, featuring none other than Mr. Angus McFife from Gloryhammer. Yeah. Horny horses. Horny from horses. space. Yeah. From space. Um, now, one, one little thing. We know this band. Uh, we've just never been able to check out this band on the channel because all of their videos are uploaded to Vivo. This one is not. Because now they've signed with Napalm Records. Oh. This video is actually on Napalm Records' channel. So we're able to check it out, finally! Finally. Finally! And now when more videos come out, we can... Uh... I, I think they have a new album coming out. Ooh. They have an album, well, not a new, because they've never released an album before. They have an album coming out in the new year, and now with Napalm Records in the mix, that's that's good news for us. Yeah. And it's good news for the people at home, because we get to check their ch their videos on our channel, and I'm gonna get a chance to check out their album once it's once it's available for me to review. So that's an exciting. So but, this is a uh, Nanowar cross with uh, Horny Horses. It's it's kind of like a joint venture yeah. between them and and Glory Hammer. I, I, I'm real honestly, I know that everybody's been telling us to check out this video. But even without people telling us to check out this video, we were gonna check it out anyways. Yeah. Like I'm dying to see this. And, video. and if you're gonna add Angus McFife, I mean, oh, that's like you you have me. You had me yeah. at Angus. You not even had to say McFife. Yeah. You know. All right. Let me put my headphones on. Are you ready? Yeah.
I, I, I'm thinking maybe I should just let her go just yeah. in case. All right. All right. Uh. <laughs> Can I start off by saying that the dudes in the band wearing the IKEA shirts was absolutely epic? Yeah. Like, like, wow, that's taking it to the whole new level. Not only you're singing about like IKEA furniture and like whatever. You're wearing the IKEA shirts. You're actually wearing, yeah, those polos that they wear at, at, at IKEA. Wow, I'm surprised IKEA hasn't sued these guys for 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 this, but. Maybe they have a good sense of humor yeah. at Ikea. I don't know. Well, they, they must have, considering the poor instructions that they give people and one damn Allen key. Yeah. I mean, you have to have good sense of humor to also, pull that off. this song was basically a plug for Ikea. It was a huge plug for Ikea. It was Ikea. A, huge, uh, a huge plug for <laughs> Ikea. Like, this song made me want to go to Ikea just now no. and sit on one of those, like... No. Why? No, I, I... Because I always get lost in there. True. Uh, you know how hard it is to find the exit once you get in? S seriously, it's like... Even if you follow the arrows on the ground, like it's still it a brings you everywhere. Exactly. Next thing you know, I'm back place where that, I started again. And then you're at the back where it looks like Costco, and then you have to. Well, oh, that's the warehouse. It's the warehouse. Yeah. And then you have to keep going in. Where uh, you have to go pick up your own shit to build. Yeah. Right. Man, you know, like it's like it's like it's like grown up Legos. With, with poor instructions yeah. and an Allen key and an Allen key. Wow. But but at least people build Legos for fun. Furniture is not is not fun. No. Putting putting it together. Oh, this this was fun. This was fun. This was good. This was good. All right. So uh, let's get a little bit more into it, and um, I'm gonna I'm gonna let you start. So with, overall, the song. What, what did you think? Overall, the song was absolutely amazing. The lyrics. I'm happy they had the. Oh, I'm happy they had the subtitles. Oh, cause without the, the subtitles, I would have missed half of the fun. Yeah, because half the time, you know, they're saying the, in the choir stuff. And I'm like, what are they saying? And then I look like down. The, 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 sorry, go ahead. Yeah, you look down and you see the lyrics. And I look down and they're talking about uh, tempered glass. And I'm like, what the hell is happening Small here? sofas. Yeah, small <laughs> sofas. Absolutely hilarious. And then now, Angus McFife came down as Odin. I know, but he was like a pirate. He lost an eye. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because he was Odin. He was Odin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, okay. I, when that first happened, I was like, why the hell is Angus McFife wearing an eye patch? Is he a pirate now? But he's an old, he's is, is, is he like uh, channeling his inner ill storm? Like, I, it, it got me confused. Now, now that you said that, I'm like, oh shit, he was Odin. So okay, so that makes sense that he's wearing the eye patch. Okay, yeah. now, now I get it. I, I honestly, I didn't get it when it first happened. I got it now. Uh, so and thank he, you. He was talking. That. He was talking good about the furniture. I mean. That's when the whole IKEA thing started was with him. W with him, and he was talking good about the furniture, and in my mind, I'm like, the furniture, eh, the meatballs. Meatballs, and oh, the meatballs are incredible. Yeah. And the, and with mashed potatoes and that sauce they put on. Now you're getting me hungry. Now I want to go to IKEA. R remember, the last time we went to IKEA was to eat. Yeah. And we, we didn't go there for anything, we just went to eat. I know, eat. so we went there to eat, we found the place, we sat down, we ate, and then it took us, like... 20 double, minutes. It, it took us, I was going to say, double the time to find our way out of there. That, that place is like absolutely hell on earth. I Honestly, the, the arrows on the floor don't help at all. No. Because next thing you know, you're back to where you started. Sometimes you follow the arrows, but then you don't know where they split off. So you just go one way and then you're in the same place you were. And I know. It's, I, 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 I hate all of that. But... It's worth the aggravation. It's almost like you need a GPS every time you go to Ikea. Yeah. Uh, it's worth all the aggravation for the amazing food. I, I can't believe we went there. We spent $50 on freaking meatballs and, and, and desserts. Good thing, good thing we have the <sighs> coupon. Yeah, I know. The Metal Zen guy sent us two gift cards. So that's why we use their gift cards for meatballs. <sighs> and some candies. You know, those candies that your mother loves. But anyways... I agree with you. I'm really happy that the song had the subtitles. Yeah. Without the subtitles, I think we would have we would have lost half of the fun because most of most of of the lols are in the lyrics. You you, yeah. need, you need to no, see the lyrics. Almost all the lols are in almost the lyrics. Almost all the lols. That's true. Almost all the lols are in the lyrics. So you need the lyrics in order to get what's going on. I one thing I really enjoyed was the fact that they, they that's why it's Valhalla They did one of those like Christian. Uh, you know, church, like, yeah. singing and dancing, and like, you know, oh, praising yeah. the Lord. Yeah, yeah, praising the Lord. I love how they incorporated that with the whole Odin and Ikea and the guys with the polos. But to me, that was absolutely hilarious because it's like, 
it's two worlds, two very opposite worlds. When you think about like Odin and Vikings and you think about Christianity, I mean, they could not be further apart. Yeah. But the way they merged them together, it was absolutely hilarious because instead of giving praise to, they weren't giving praise to the Lord. It was just, they were giving praise to Odin. Yeah. And, 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 and not not Jesus. It was the Ikea ship. Was it an Ikea ship? Yeah, did you see it? Was, I uh, saw the Viking ship. It was a Viking ship and it had Ikea on the uh, on the front. Fl- yeah. Oh, it did? Oh, man, I missed that. I saw the Viking ship, but I didn't see the Ikea on the front. Oh, man, damn it. This uh, music video was sponsored by Ikea. Well, at the beginning of the video, I said I'm surprised they haven't sued them, but then you said something that this is really a huge promo it for is. them. So it would be so stupid of them to even just just let it rock. Just let, the, let them be. You know what they should do? They should put this video playing on the screens that they have at Ikea. All or, over the world. Or this should be the brand new uh, uh, commercial for Ikea. Well, I think it, this song incorporate. It's better than that. I, I don't know about the commercials where, you know, the, you guys watching at home, I don't know where you are in the world, so I don't know what kind of Ikea commercials you but get. We have, the, we have this, this really weird Swedish guy with yeah. a really weird accent. Uh, welcome to Ikea. Like, welcome to Ikea. Yeah, he's, he's like... And he, he's... Uh, he looks like a pedophile. But it's not, the it's thing is, it's really not even a weird, good Swedish dude. accent, too. It's kind of like... No, the guy's weird. Like, yeah. he shows up at the worst possible times when people are sleeping and whatever to tell people to buy you know, Ikea furniture. You know what, where he got this bed from? Ikea. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It, really weird guy. I, I'd rather see a commercial with this. Yeah. I'd rather see a commercial with this. Just like, like a minute of just this and at the end, Ikea. Yeah, you just don't like, even need to put furniture. Just put this video and then say, shop at Ikea. That's, that's it. it. That's, it. That's you know, it. I don't need to see the furniture. It's just that. And just give me a chair. I'm like, my God, man, the references that they were using to the furniture was absolutely hilarious. It's all the different types of furniture that and they the sell Bible, at Ikea. The Bible was an IKEA Bible. I, I noticed that it was like a it was like a book, but it was yeah. like an IKEA book, right? It was like instruction manuals. <sighs> yeah, it was like a bunch of instructions. I really enjoyed the the whole part. The, the, the lyric aspect is really interesting. Like the way they worked the, the lyrics. The way they tied it into the video. But the way they tied it into the video is perfect. But I like the fact that it, once you start breaking down the lyrics, it's just like different types of furniture that they sell there. Yeah. You know, like bookcases and this. This is why and, it's a perfect ad. And, oh my God, absolutely amazing. Oh, you know what you could do? You could have the song playing and the furniture that they're referring to in the lyrics could just be glass. popping up. Yeah, yeah, and they could just be popping up in the screen. Whatever. All right. This was great. Yeah. This was great. All right, guys. Thank you for everybody that asked us to check out this video. We were going to do it anyways, but thank you for all of you that asked us to check out this video. This was absolutely glorious. Glorious. And and, and to have Angus McFife there, even though it was just a little cameo. Yeah. Yeah. It just added to the greatness of the video. All right, guys. We'll see you tomorrow with another video. Take care, guys. See ya.